Merry Christmas, everyone! I'm Josh again, and we are here for Christmas Around the World. Christmas is the birth of baby Jesus, more than 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem. This is one of the most celebrated holidays around the world, having both religious and cultural traditions. Christmas is a big celebration for a family, a mixture of Filipino and American traditions. However, this year, we want to explore more. We want to know how other kids like me and Sarah celebrate their Christmas. Thanks to the internet and some websites like whychristmas.com, we can now travel the world and learn different ways and traditions on how Christmas is celebrated around the world. Tonight's travel will take us to another continent, down under, Australia. Australia is the smallest continent and one of the largest countries on Earth, lying between the Pacific and Indian Oceans in the Southern Hemisphere. Australia's capital is Canberra, located in the southeast between the larger and more economic and cultural centuries of Sydney and Melbourne. We often hear the phrase down under when they talk about Australia, but why? The term down under is a colloquialism which is differently constructed to refer that Australia, New Zealand, or any South Pacific Island country such as Fiji and Samoa. The term comes from the fact that these countries are in the Southern Hemisphere, or below most of all the other countries, or on the usual arrangement of the map, or globe, which places the Cardinal North at the top. In Australia, Christmas comes in the towards the beginning of summer holidays. Children have their summer holidays from mid-December to early February, so some people might even be camping at Christmas. Because it's so hot at Christmas time in Australia, there are quite often massive bushfires across the country. Many volunteer bushfire fighters are involved in saving people and property, and travel from all over Australia to help other states. Australians hang wreaths on their front doors and sometimes go out for Christmas carol singing on Christmas Eve. People also decorate their houses and gardens with Christmas trees and Christmas lights. Neighbors sometimes even have little competition to see how who has the best light display too. The neighbors often visit each other to look at the light displays at night. Sometimes the light displays are put on as early as December 1st. One street in Sydney raises over 35,000 Australian dollars every year for a charity with their coordinated street displays too. Australians also decorate their houses with bunches of Christmas bush, a native Australian tree with small green leaves and cream colored flowers. In the summer, the flowers turn to a deep shiny red over a period of weeks generally by the week of Christmas in Sydney. Poinsettia plants are also popular plants used as decorations. In each state capital city, there is large carols by the candlelight services. Famous Australian singers like the Wiggles, John Farnham, Anthony Warlow, Colin Gray, and Nicky Webster's, and many more help to sing the carols. These carol services held in different cities are broadcast on TV across Australia. There are also huge Christmas pageants in each capital state city that are also broadcast across the country. Most towns and cities have festivals and parades. Also, in some places, there are also fireworks displayed at the local park. Many towns, cities, and schools also hold their own carols by the candlelight services, with local bands and choirs sometimes helping to perform the Christmas carols and songs. As it is the middle of summer in Australia at Christmas time, the words of the carols about snow and the cold winter are sometimes changed to special Australian words. There are also some original Australian carols too. When he gets to Australia, 
Sometimes, Santa gives the reindeers a rest and might use kangaroos. He also exchanges his clothes for less hot ones. Children often leave out carrots for Santa's reindeer. And there might also be some cake for Santa with some cold beer. But it's often non-alcoholic because Santa has to drive his sleigh. Presents are normally exchanged between families on Christmas Day. On Boxing Day, most people go out and visit their friends and often have barbecues at the beach. A famous yacht race from Sydney to Hobart in Tasmania is also held on Boxing Day. The Flying Doctor Service has to go through work all throughout Christmas. On Christmas Day, the people who live in the outback send Christmas greetings to each other over the radio network. Most families try to be home for Christmas, and the main meal is normally eaten at lunchtime. Most people now have a cold Christmas dinner or a barbecue with seafood such as prawns and lobsters, along with the traditional English food. On Christmas Eve, fish markets are often full of people grieving to buy their fresh seafood on, for Christmas Day. Some people also like to have traditional Christmas pudding, but there might also be some cold desserts like pavlova and truffle. Australians often have Christmas crackers at Christmas meal times. We hope that, like us, you learned something new today. Please join us again tomorrow as you travel around the globe and learn more about how Christmas is celebrated around the world. Just always remember that Christmas is a time of joy, a time of forgiveness and peace, a time of love, of sharing, of caring for others, a time to welcome the birth of baby Jesus, not only in the manger, but in our hearts. Then it will be a Christmas every day and everywhere, a true Christmas around the world. Ako po si Josh at malagay po si Ko po sa inyong lahat. We wish you